I've had so many comments from all of you like, take a look at Kirchhoff. Why didn't you take a look at Kirchhoff? Why did you take a look at this plugin, but not at Kirchhoff? Kirchhoff, 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 Kirchhoff. And of course, I appreciate all your tips and comments. And today, I'm finally taking a look at Kirchhoff. So let's first answer the question why I didn't take a look at Kirchhoff because I have filmed a video about Kirchhoff a few weeks ago and I almost fell asleep while editing it. It was so boring. There's no snake oil entertainment value in Kirchhoff and that is not a bad sign. L let let's make that clear. Kirchhoff is the advanced version of the FabFilter Pro Q3. It's just what it is. And look at... This whole website, all these features, there are so many features in here, so much stuff. If I need to go over all of it, this video will be an hour long, but it's just a very cool EQ. Like, like le let's start at the top. Let's start at the top. Ultimate sound quality. And this is most of all has to do with the cramping. <laughs> I guess that works. High precision processing, 117 bits for if uh, 64 isn't enough. I don't know how to test that. I actually thought it was already sounding pretty good. Psychoacoustic adaptive filter topologies. No idea what it means. It basically means that the quantization noise is way lower, but it's already really low. We've got continuously variable slopes filters. Uh, yeah, works, works. <laughs> really cool feature, by the way, really cool. I don't know if there's a lot of added value, but the fact that you can go from this all the way to this without any steps in between, that's cool, that's cool. 32 filter types modeled from historic vintage EQs. Uh, I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit sensitive for this. Like, like the only thing that really changes is the curve of the EQ and like like how it, how it's shaped and the way the buttons look they are not modeling non-linear behavior so all the good stuff from analog it's not in here so this is this is like like a little bit of a snake oil part of um of this eq if you're modeling an eq you need to also model the non-linear behavior because that is what well for instance a tube eq sounds the way it sounds because of the tube and the transformers that are in there and also a little bit because of how it works with the coils, capacitors, inductors, all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, zero latency, I believe them. Mixed phase mode, I believe them. It has dynamic EQ uh, stuff uh, built in, which is of course hidden if you don't need to use it. And uh, it, it's super advanced. Like you, you can set everything in here, but it's not it's not really confusing. Like also other plugin developers, take note. Take a look at the, the wording that they are using. Ratio, range. Threshold, attack, release. Everybody immediately understands what this thing is about. Harmonic shift envelopes, it's being taken care of. Uh, I believe them. These are not necessarily subjects to explain in a snake oil video. I actually still have a little bit of trouble uh, wrapping my head around it. What I think is a good idea, if you want to see this thing, this, this concept of harmonic shifted envelope, and maybe also some other like 117 bit stuff uh, if you want to see that explained make sure to send a message maybe through twitter or whatever to dan whirl he has the voice of truth and the voice of reason and the voice of explaining things so uh, dan if you're watching can you explain this to us all because i believe them just from the fact of how well this eq works but verifying things like this i, I don't even know how to do that so let me know detect slash relative envelope detection so what these two features do is it's really, th this is really interesting and something that's a bit more difficult to understand. Detect is really your, your uh, detection frequency, which you can also change to like, uh, like uh, let's only detect on the, uh, on the low frequencies. So as you can see, I'm now, I'm now detecting on the low frequencies. It's just like the internal sidechain uh, filter. When you don't set this to free, this is basically the same as, as it is over here. Relative, however, is the rest of the mix. So, so if you don't set this to free, it, it's blending in the rest of the signal in there as well. And this is basically to do some freaky stuff when things get louder or uh, are less loud. Here you can see it, like 
now it's also responding to the whole mix. So it's not responding to its direct frequency because I've put it uh, somewhere over here. But it is responding to the whole mix. And I can now also make it respond to only the low frequencies. There you go. You can make some kind of a blend between the direct frequency and the whole mix and do some wacky stuff with it. Uh, quite honestly, I'm still my left brain uh, when doing this. So, so getting creative with it could take some time. Also, there's the onsets, which is this thing, uh, which changes the detection from a transients to resonance. Turning up the onsets makes it respond more to transients. It's just so much that this thing can do. Like the Pro Q3 feels ancient compared to, to the Kirchhoff. More stuff, there's a spectrum grab, so you can grab a frequency from the spectrum. That, that's also possible in, um, in the FAP filter, so you can do this. Uh, it works a bit different in the Pro Q3. We've got oversampling, we've got directional EQ, we've got look ahead. Uh, we can make a, a list of bands. We've got extreme CPU optimization, low clicking noise. Like, it's so much. And quite honestly, most topics are pretty boring. And the only thing I think that isn't boring is what I think and my conclusion on this thing. Or does that sound a bit arrogant, finding yourself to be interesting and not boring maybe that's arrogant sorry for that but i just don't want you all to wait while i'm like figuring this thing out for like hours and watching that whole part waiting for me to say what i think because here's what i think it's a great eq it's a great plugin it's of course a little bit of a fab filter pro q3 ripoff it's it's a little bit uh, inspired by it i mean they're using the yellow line almost the same background color it, at first if, if you look at it from a distance have the two together it's difficult to see the differences however they have built on top of what fab filter was already doing so they basically replicated fab filter and then went a bit further and I like that. I like that. I like it when developers try to push further, uh, most of all with EQ plugins, because quite honestly, EQ is such a basic tool. And it's a tool of which I always think like, okay, I think we are at 99% of our capabilities in terms of uh, EQing. And every single time I think that I've been proven wrong because something like this uh, comes along. Now, one of the things that I'm really missing, which is really the snake oil section of the Kirchhoff, because it has a snake oil section, is those those analog filters. Like the fact that there's no non-linearity in there uh, makes it for me a bit useless. What I like about my analog console and my analog EQs is the non-linearity. That's that's what I want. So I, I would love it if in the future they would, I don't know, make a switch somewhere and do a lot of programming because that's not that simple, and make the analog simulations as accurate and as high quality as the rest of the plugin is. That would be really cool. At the moment, it costs 180 uh, US dollars. I mean, this is like the workhorse in your EQ bundle or in your plugin bundle, maybe even. So 180 dollars is not that bad. Biggest part of the plugin is not snake oil. I'm almost certain that I didn't even cover every feature in the plugin, and that is why there is a demo, and that is why you can check it out yourself. So I'll link to Kirchhoff in the description down below. Uh, check it out yourself and then come back to this video and let me know what you think. Or just let me know what you think because it seems like all of my viewers have already checked out Kirchhoff and that I'm the last one. So so here's what I think. It's kind of Captain Obvious, I know. But uh, yeah, it's apart from the analog emulations, no snake oil. And uh, for the disclosure, I made this video because a lot of people was, were asking uh, me to make it. As you could see, uh, I was running the demo. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase it yet uh, and that's just because i'm really bound at my at my fab filter pro q3 uh, i have it in every single session and maybe maybe i should buy it you'll see it as soon as i do the next uh, my whole plugin bundle update video which will probably be in a year so yeah completely independent and everything that i'm saying is my own honest opinion now, if you like my independence and want to support it, uh, you can do that by buying something on Toman or Sweetwater uh, and by purchasing something from there. Links are also in the description. Uh, a little bit gets kicked back to me. So make sure to use the links or the QR codes before purchasing something. Another way to support me is by pledging a bit to my Patreon campaign, which I'm going to link over here. And on Patreon, you get early access videos, answer questions, and some other good stuff. I only have 20 seconds to do this. The last way to support me and the whole YouTube platform is by watching more videos. I'll link one of mine over here, but YouTube will do its best to link other videos around here. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep pushing, and bye-bye.